Today we're going to talk about the Infiniprobe TS160 Robusto lens. It's manufactured by a company named Infinity. Uh, it's a company that has historically manufactured microscope lenses for the scientific community. We have three adapters in our kit. Uh, each will change the function of the lens. Uh, this one from micro to macro. And we also have this SFX4 adapter which behaves kind of like a probe lens and also kind of like a very deep focus lens. Uh, these focal adapters are referred to as objectives in Infinity's parlance. So you simply screw on one of these objectives onto the main body and you are able to get three very different lenses in one. The main body is very well made. It's all metal construction. It's got a built-in metal follow focus gear that's very smooth. This lens is a C-mount, so you will need an adapter uh, in order to adapt it to your specific camera. They do also make a PL, Canon, and Nikon adapters for this lens. There are a few quirky things you need to know about this lens. It has a variable iris, but it's got no f-stops. So you don't really know what aperture you're filming at. There is a white dot engraved on the iris housing where the uh, approximate optimal exposure and image contrast occurs. So basically you set it to that white dot and you leave it. Um, also another thing to keep in mind, it requires an awful lot of light to get a decent exposure. Uh, I set up three of my Forza 60s for my tabletop shots. Each one of these puts out about 1600 foot candles. Um, so it's pretty bright. Um, also, another thing to remember when using the uh, SFX and the micro objective, it does project a, uh, an image flipped upside down onto your sensor. So you will have to adapt your monitor while filming and then flip the image back uh, to the correct way in post-production. So I'm going to go through each of these objectives and see what they can do. Uh, we'll start with my personal favorite, the SFX4. So Infinity makes um, four different versions of this particular objective. There's the SFX1, 2, 3, and 4. They're all different focal lengths. Um, and the SFX4, for some reason, is no longer listed on Infinity's website, so I'm not sure if they no longer manufacture this one. But anyway, this is, it's about a 15 millimeter focal length. It is able to focus from infinity to less than half an inch away from uh, the lens. That's pretty impressive. So I'm gonna use this objective first for filming some tabletop shots. Um, in this type of setup, it looks and behaves, you know, pretty similar to a probe lens. It's able to move along the length of your slider while maintaining focus all along its path. So after filming falling M&Ms for a while, I decided to line up some random objects from around the office on the uh, tabletop and test its depth of field ability. This lens objective also has one more trick up its sleeve. Amazing deep focus force perspective abilities. Try doing this with a probe lens. It's great, that's great. Let's do that again. Say hi, Harry. <laughs> so there's Harry down there. He's probably 30 feet away. And uh, we've got the guitar first guitar is probably 20 feet away and then we've got this little guy so there's the setup with the camera there's a the little guitar there's the other guitar and Harry so that sort of gives you an idea of the force perspective that you're able to do with this lens 
pretty impressive. Next, we're going to take a look at the macro objective. So this guy has got a field of view of about 135 millimeters. The image is recorded right side up and it has a, a 4x magnification. So this adapter is able to give really impressive extreme close-up shots. As you can see here, just fractions of an inch make the difference between tack sharp and completely out of focus. Uh, the closer you get to an object, the more shallow your depth of field becomes. And I did find that even with the camera locked down, just attempting to adjust focus while filming can cause the image considerable shake and it can potentially ruin your shot. So a bit of advice, uh, find your shot and don't touch the camera while filming if you can help it. And finally, we have the micro adapter. Uh, this opens up a whole new world, you know, pretty much unseen to the naked eye. You can discover the intricate patterns in the eye of a fly or a mosquito, uh, the delicate detail in a flower, or the ability to discover what may be swimming within a bit of pond water. <laughs> uh, a whole new, nearly invisible world opens up with the micro objective. Now, the water is about half an inch deep, and the depth of field is so shallow that anything swimming by that's not directly in the focal plane is pretty soft. But this gives you an idea of the magnification power of this objective. Here's a bit of dandelion fluff. So some final thoughts. Infinity has made a unique, specialized lens kit. It's aimed at the high-end professional cinematography market. It's not for everybody, and it's quite expensive. Uh, the kit I've got, which includes the main Robusto body, uh, the macro and micro adapters, and the SFX objective, uh, as well as this right angle adapter, which, you know, unfortunately I was never able to get to focus very well, um, will set you back, according to Infinity's website, around $9,000. So my experience with the customer service at Infinity was quite good. I did run into a technical problem while I was filming and reached out to them uh, through their website and was contacted within hours with a solution. So that was much appreciated. Um, you know, the quality build and image quality are really top notch. Um, I must admit, I did find there is a learning curve to get comfortable with this lens, but you know, once you spend some time getting to know one another, it really was a joy to see what this lens is able to do. So, hope you found this review helpful. Uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.